we're going to zip through baselining because we kind of already covered it. But um, again, the idea here, detailed and specific. This is how you're going to develop the program. In a good functional assessment, you're looking for the ABCs, the antecedents, the behaviors, and the consequences. Okay. So with that functional assessment, we're going to go in gory detail about what's happening with the behavior. In fact, you write down too much information while you're doing an FA. Uh, you write down almost everything you can, and then you go back later and analyze that and look and see, are there patterns here? Right. Um, again, this is the observation side of things. Uh, you also see if those patterns match up with those indirect assessments that you've done. Okay. Take all that information, and at this point, this is where this becomes a really hardcore science. You take that information you gathered, and then you develop a program. You don't walk into it. You don't walk into a problem saying, ooh, 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 I know what I'm going to do, I know what I'm going to do. Uh-uh, doesn't work that way. You walk in and you figure out the problem, and then you figure out how to solve it. Right? You, you take the tools that you have and apply them to the behavior that's there, not the other way around. You don't try to force the, the uh, behavior into the tool, so to speak. You say, well, I really want to use a token economy. I love token economy, so I'm going to always do a token economy. Well, <laughs> guess what? Maybe that's not appropriate. You've got to use that. Uh, you got to use the behavior to guide you. This is database decision making. Uh, this is best practices approach. This is the type of thing you do. You know, every behavior you're going to run into has been researched, read about, evaluated, and studied before. Go to the literature and find out. Journal of Applied Behavior Analysis. Um, the the behavior analyst as well. You know, there's all sorts of journals out there that are directly related to this stuff. Is there actually time for proper assessment? I ran into this a couple of years ago. I was working with a grad student, and we were wanting to do one of these things, and you know, for for a project, and because of legal issues and permission issues and things like that, the the clock just kept kept ticking down. We went from sixteen weeks to ten weeks to eight weeks to six weeks before we could even start, and the the time frame there is meaning that. Um, the, the school year was going to end, right? And we couldn't actually get the whole thing done. So we actually had to back off and went to the teacher and said, because of A, B, C, and D, we're not able to continue with this problem. Let's try and see if we can solve it next year. Right. Interestingly enough, once the kid got into the new classroom, there wasn't a problem anymore. But that's a different issue. Again, back to that help or hinder thing. Um, are people going to stand in your way? And sometimes they will. So you got to try and put, uh, you got to know if that's going to happen. You got to find out if people are available. Are they actually going to be able to do their work? Uh, do they have enough time to help you out? Do they have enough time to record behavior in the classroom? If not, then you're going to need to train somebody up and get them in there. Maybe that's where you can use your paras um, in the classroom. Or maybe a parent just doesn't have the time. You know, think about a single mom. Right? It's got a problem with a kiddo and uh, you're saying, well, I'd like you to do a functional assessment and it's going to take this amount of data recording for this many weeks and blah, 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 blah. And you know, you're going to have to spend an hour a day watching the kid and recording everything you can record. And the single mom's just going to just basically say, no, <laughs> don't have the time to do that. I'm sorry. It's not realistic. Right? So you have to be able to figure out if the folks can help you or hinder you and then uh, react accordingly. Will the surroundings help or hinder? Think about the kids in the school. Are the other kids in the classroom you know, egging this kid on, or, or are they left alone? You know, like I said earlier about the kid, the, the teenager coming home lighting fires. Well, if they're home by themselves, the surroundings are going to hinder you. Okay. Is the behavior in occurring in a natural environment? You know, where are you going to be when you're recording the behavior? If the problem behavior is happening on the playground, um, but you only have access to the kid in the classroom, you're screwed. All right? It's not going to work. All right? And how much time do you have? Again, sometimes people just don't have a good assessment. And it's probably more often than not, really. It's, they don't have a good assessment of how often something occurs because you tend to focus on certain things that, you know, let's say a problem behavior happens and then it, it keeps happening and keeps happening. Maybe it's only happening once a month, but the fact that it's been happening every month gets you focused on it. You're like, my gosh, this kid just won't stop, right? And it, in reality, it's only happening once a month. Well, it's going to take forever to baseline that. Remember, we want three or four data points at a minimum for baselining. <laughs> okay, you're looking at four months. All right. Um, if the behavior is only happening once a month and you're charging X amount of dollars an hour to be there, you never know when the behavior is going to ha happen. So you're looking at thousands and thousands of dollars just to capture a baseline. It's not realistic. Okay. 
How fast much, much the behavior change, whatever that means. <laughs> how quick do you need the behavior to change? It should, it must is what it should say, right? So how fast should the behavior change? Well, do you need it to change right now? Do you need it to change next week? Um, again, a lot of these things take a, take a bit of time. Right? Don't forget about your extinction curves, your extinction bursts, all that stuff, uh, competing contingencies, behavioral momentum, blah, 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 blah. It takes a while to get a behavior to change.